Hello, welcome. This is One India News, and I am Akash. Stung by the improved New Zealand on the other night, the very India would quickly like to get their house in order when they square off with the Ken Williamson boys in the third ODI on October 23rd. The five match series is currently leveled at 1 1, while the six run defeat in Delhi has given India plenty to ponder about. It has also renewed interest in the contest, which has been dominated by the home team prior to the second ODI stretching from one-sided test series to the first ODI in Dharamshala. From a New Zealand's point of view, a victory was all that they needed after a string of defeats as a result of their first win on the Indian soil. After 13 years, one can expect a certain spring in the stride of the visitors when they take the field at the PCS Stadium in Mohali. Now the situation is a bit worrying for the Indian side which has seemed to struggle when two of their best batsmen and chasers Virat Kohli and Captain MS Dhoni fail to find their range at the bat. Reliance on these two to master the chase is fine but when it turns into over-reliance that is when it becomes a problem. Rohit Sharma has not found his form so far in the series and the right-handed batsman finding some sort of a rhythm in the top of the innings will be a welcome sign while it's time for Ajinkya Rohane to ripe up and show that he belongs as an opener in the one-day cricket. Manish Pandey needs to go back and take a look at his innings in Australia when he scored a brilliant 100 to guide India home in a chase and needs to produce some more of the similar knocks. Well, Suresh Rana could get a chance to bat after he missed the first two matches because of illness. But as far as Kijat Jadav is concerned, the pressure will be on for him to justify his spot. Getting a wicket or two with his part-time off-spinner is a nice bonus but his real job is to score runs with the bat and while the 31-year-old's 41 in the second ODI was impressive, he really should have carried on and seen India home. But the players who take up responsibility and follow through is what is required for India just like so many have in the test format and if the current crop does not decrease their pressure on Virat Kohli and Mahindra Singh Dhoni, the selectors will have to start thinking about blooding some new players in. Now let's talk about the PCA Stadium in Mohali where the third ODI is going to happen. Now it is just few kilometers away from Chandigarh and has hosted 22 ODIs since its establishment in 1933. India has played 13 out of those 22 matches winning 8 out of them and losing 5. After India, Australia is the most successful team at the venue with 5 wins out of 6 matches. Now, Most famously, the PCS Stadium has hosted the semi-final for the 2011 World Cup between India and Pakistan, which Mahindra Singh Dhoni's team won to enter the final of the tournament. Well, if we talk about the highest score that has been scored on this pitch, it was 351 for the loss of 5 wickets. It was scored during the South Africa vs Netherlands uh, in 2011. Talking about the lowest score, it came during Pakistan vs South Africa in 2006. It was just 89 for 25 overs. Talking about the highest individual score that has been made, that has been by Mahinder Singh Dhoni when the team was facing Australia in 2013 and he was 139 not out. So out and out, the pitch of Mohali has been very good for the Indian side. Now we have to see now that New Zealand is a little bit more pumped up after that win for a long hiatus of 13 years. They have got that win. What would be going on the mind of Captain Cool Mahindra Singh Dhoni? That and everything else would be seen tomorrow. Well, that's all for now. But for more news and updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel and please don't forget to like and share this video.